Hello guys, if you use Cloud Code, you would probably agree that it doesn't always listen to Cloud MD guidelines. Here's a tweet about that with more than 100 likes, and I will link that in the description below. But in this video, I want to show you my personal story, how I forced Cloud Code to listen to one of the guideline points enforcing the rule on top of AI guidelines or outside of AI, because not everything should be in the guidelines. We can automate some things with other developer tools. So let me show you. One thing that annoys me quite often as a Laravel developer is sometimes Cloud Code uses full paths to the classes instead of adding them on top in the use section in Laravel or in PHP in general. So this was my code generated by Cloud Code in one project. So it was in the model and then in the factory, it was this. And then in the Cedar, it was full path of models instead of adding them in the import section. Although in Cloud MD, I will show you the exact line of instruction. It's this, import all classes with use and reference only short names, specifically no fully qualified class names in code. It may be not ideally written. So of course it depends on how you formulate that line and probably I should give examples of before and after or enforce never. But here's the fun part. After I told Claude to recheck the code according to Claude MD, Here's the screenshot of what happened. It actually identified that it didn't obey to all CloudMD rules and started refactoring. So kind of on the second attempt, it actually listened to CloudMD. But even more fun fact that it fixed only some of the files and not others. So I had to re-prompt again, specifying the files where it left the thing. And then of course, you're absolutely right. And then it fixed the remaining files, but still I was really annoyed. So at first I thought, how can I enforce that rule in CloudMD? But then I realized, wait a minute, those rules can be automated in some kind of tool for code styling or code review or something like that. Outside of AI or on top of AI or after the AI generated the code. And of course it depends on your language and framework you work with, but specifically for Laravel, we have Laravel Pint. It's a wrapper on top of PHP CS Fixer. And I was wondering, is there a rule to automate that? In my Laravel project, I use a package Laravel Boost that generates the guidelines, which I add my own guidelines on top and one of the guideline points. So if we get back to that Cloud MD and search for Pint, yes, it exists. It actually is specified and Pint core rules, you must run Pint before finalizing the changes. So this is a good rule to enforce Cloud MD or in fact any LLM after it's done something to run automated tests, Pint for example, or other code formatting or code styling tools. So that would be responsibility not of AI, but automated tools that are actually deterministic and would definitely work because there are strict rules. It's not like Pint or PHP CS Fixer could just skip or miss some rule. It's deterministic. So if I run manually vendor bin Pint in the terminal, it will check for failures, but it didn't specify that use import because that rule isn't enforced. So there are other issues with single black line at the end of file, which is even debatable to fix, but we can add that rule. And again, the tool and the rule would depend on your language and framework. Laravel is just an example, but in this case, I just create pint JSON file and add this JSON configuration. I've pasted it from my notes. So this is strict types, import symbols true. And now if I rerun pint with test, it will flag more things, including my models task, fully qualified strict types. That rule is violated. And now if I try to run pint without dash dash test, it would actually make the changes. And then in the git history, we may find that in the tasks model, it will automatically transform that to use section in both cases, then probably same in the factory here and same in the database seeder here. Exactly as I would want Claude to generate the code in the first place. So yeah, the overall advice is this. In your cases, if you don't like something that LLM is generating, try to find the tools, automated tools like code formatting, styling, or something like that to maybe enforce some of the rules that are more deterministic. In Claude MD, you may specify what tools to run after the prompt, at the end of the prompt, like Pint in my case, 
and in the comments below we can discuss which other tools you use for such cases for Laravel, PHP or other languages. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.